Better finish your breakfast, wild child. You don't want to be late for school? Yes, I do. I know it's a little difficult, wild child, but it's important. It's done you much good already. You speak well now, and you've learned to read. I still don't like it. The others tease me, call me Dingo Boy and stuff, and I'm not allowed to whomp their heads. Well, certainly not. Fighting doesn't belong in school, and it hardly ever settles anything. As for the other children, try to ignore them. Words are just words. Name-calling can't hurt you, right? Mm, I guess. All right. I'll try. That's my boy. Life was sure a lot simpler when I lived with the dingoes. Simpler, but more dangerous. The dingoes are a wild and lawless punch. Maybe, but they saved my life when I was lost in the desert and raised me as one of their own. I know, wild child. I'll always be grateful. Without the dingoes, you never would have survived to brighten my life. But I promised Brave Star when I adopted you that I would be a good father. And that means sending you to school. Now, off with you. Oh, all right, Zarko. I'll see you after school. Goodbye. And remember, I love you. to do some walking. That takes care of them, big partner. <laughs> yup. You all right, Molly? Sure am, 30-30. But I sure feel a lot better when these thieving dingles are in jail where they belong. That's where they're going. Wrap them up, big partner. All right, class. If we subtract six from the rest of the set, I hear Brave Star subtracted some dingles from the tribe this morning. <laughs> I thought the air smelled a little cleaner. <laughs> now, if we could just clean up Dingle Boy here. Maybe we could get him a flea collar. <laughs> Listen, you! Stop that! Oh, will you come with me, Wild Child? <laughs> Wild Child, I've warned you before about fighting in school. I'm sorry, Miss Jenny. I know. They were probably teasing you again, right? I'm sorry. I, I try to stop them when I can catch them. But you know that's still no excuse for fighting, Wild Child. Now, you just stay here until you calm down a little, all right? Good boy. You'll do fine. Don't worry. All right, class. Now activate your tech screens to page eight. Oh, things were sure different when I lived with the dingoes. you go outside and play. All right.
<laughs> Pretty bad cough you have there all of a sudden. Hey, where'd this dust come from? <laughs> How the heck should I know? <laughs> what I want to know is, why ain't you coughing? I don't know, Big Part. It just doesn't seem to affect me. <laughs> well, it affects me. <laughs> and now it's gone. I wonder what... Wait, the telecom. <laughs> Marshall, we have a problem at the, uh, at the school. Uh, a dust from some flowers has made the children sick. Uh, all except my old child, uh, uh, Miss Jenny. Be right there. Brave Star out. Time to ride, big partner, and fast. Big partner. Oh no, you've got it too. And you're burning up with fever. It's hitting the whole town. I have to find out what's going on. Take it easy, Pard. I'll be back as soon as I can. Greetings, Brave Star. I sense you wish to ask me about this strange sickness. Yes, Great One. What is this dust that causes cough and fever? And why a wild child and I unaffected? Hmm, it is the pollen of the fever flower that causes the illness, Brave Star. The flower blooms rarely, but it makes everyone very ill when it does. Only the dingoes have the medicine that prevents this terrible fever. It is made by the Dingo Lama. All dingoes are given this medicine. Hmm, Wild Child must have received it when he lived with them. And me? Uh, many years ago, I obtained a small amount of this medicine. I gave it to you for your protection. Hmm, but I have no more. Then I must get more. Where can I? Uh, from the Dingo Lama. But that will not be easy. I have no choice, Great One. For the sake of my friends, I must try. Everyone in town is very sick. I understand you dingoes have the cure. I could use your help. <laughs> yeah, forget it, Marshal. We're tired of you settlers. We won't help. <laughs> Maybe the fever flower will clear all you human trash off the planet. Yeah. I see. I have only one other choice, then. Miss Jenny! Miss Jenny! I want to help! But what can I do? Everybody's sick but me! I wish there was something I could do! There is, wild child. I need your help to save the town. Wild child, we've got to get that medicine, and we don't have much time. I know. If I remember right, the Dingo Llama lives in a cave in the Iron Mountains. That's not good. The Iron Mountains are dangerous. I'll say. Especially because the Dingo Llama has set booby traps all around the cave. Sounds like he doesn't want to be disturbed. He sure doesn't. Especially by humans.
keep an eye out. These iron mountains are full of... Pom-pom spiders! Wow, child. Are you all right? I'm okay. Hold off the spiders for a second, will ya? What are you doing? Old dingo trick. You fight with whatever you have. Your turn. Right. Strength of the bear! 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 Care of those machines. Good thinking, wild child. Thanks. But it was just some stuff I remember from the old days. I think the Dingo Llama lives just beyond that ridge. Better get moving then. Right. Just let me put on my old Dingo outfit. I have a feeling we'll need it. Hurry. We've got a lot of sick people back in town. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming, Doc. <coughs> uh, I may be sick, but uh, I'm still the doctor. These <coughs> children need me. Uh, I just wish I could do more. <coughs> I know, but for now, we must just hang on and wait. <coughs> Brave Star and Wild Child. <coughs> Easy. I got gotcha. you. Let me guess. We're almost there. Yeah. There's sure to be a lot more booby traps coming up. The Dingo Llama likes his privacy. So I see. Uh-oh. It's another trap! Thanks. So are you. But I'm getting a little tired of these booby traps. Let's set them all off. Set them off? Speed of the Puma! 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 ride was a little bumpy. <laughs> it would have been a lot bumpier if you'd moved any slower. Yes, the Dingo Llama must build booby traps as a hobby. You are correct, Marshal. As a matter of fact, there are so many traps that even I don't remember them all. But they were set for a reason, to keep people away. Especially humans, so leave. I'm sorry you feel that way about it, Dingo Llama, because we need your help. The fever flowers have made all the people of Fort Carrium ill. Good. I don't like them. But you must help them, Dingo Llama. You're the only one who can save them from the fever flower sickness. Yes, I am the only one who can save them, but I will not. I hate the settlers, especially humans. But... Answer me this, wild child. You were raised as a dingo. Now you live among settlers. Tell me, do you like all of them? Well, <laughs> I hear Brave Star subtracted some dingoes from the tribe this morning. I thought the air smelled cleaner. <laughs> well, no. You see? But that doesn't matter. There are still people, and they're sick. We have to help them if we can. 
I'm proud of you, wild child. Helping people, especially people you don't like. That's what makes a real hero. Uh, that's what makes a human. And I'm ashamed of you, wild child. A dingo would celebrate an enemy's sickness. Only a bad dingo would. I hoped you were different. Well, I guess you were wrong, because I'm not going to help. Now get out of here, both of you! Please listen, we beg you. We need your help, please. I said vamoose. Why don't you just fight him, Marshal? Then we could get his medicine. You could do it. Yes, I could, but it'd be wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. There has to be another way. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, Mamu! <laughs> Looks like this was one of those traps the Dingo Llama forgot about. Help me! Help me! Don't leave me here! We'll have to save him. Instead of leaving him there and stealing his medicine? You're catching on, wild child. Think you can cut that snare from here? No problem. Just give the word. In just a second, then. Help me! Please help me! Ooh. Speed of the Puma! The Puma! The Puma! <laughs> now, wild child! <laughs> There you go. Are you all right? Yes, but I, I don't understand. Why did you not just take the medicine you wanted and leave me helpless? Because that would be wrong. It belongs to you. But why did you help me? Because you needed our help. I see. Now, I beg of you, won't you please help us save our people? I still don't like humans, <clears throat> but I will help you. This time, come with me. I will give you the medicine you need. I'm better. I'm all better. Now I suppose we gotta be grateful to Dingo Boy for saving us. Yeah, but he still smells like a dingo. Gee, wild child. Why don't you bump their heads? You could do it. Sure, I could do it. But it would be wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. I'm proud of you, wild child. You helped everyone, even the people you didn't like. And like I said, that's what makes a real hero. about the lesson I learned. I was having problems in school because a couple of the kids were picking on me just because I was different from them. Well, sometimes you run into people like that. It happens. But try not to lose your temper or fight them because even though what they do is wrong, fighting is wrong too. And like Brave Star said, two wrongs don't make a right. Bye now and be good in school. <laughs> <laughs>